Buchanan with that darting left jab. He's great at slipping punches. The scoring is on a rounds basis in New York with a supplementary point system. That is not scored a knockdown. And yes, it is. Johnny scores it a knockdown. Well, we'll ask him about that later. Let's count it as a knockdown. They're wearing eight ounce gloves. Scoring a round spaces with a supplementary point system if the rounds are even on an official's card. Now Duran, the challenger, is just dynamite with his right hand. Buchanan's the boxer. And the challenger is a little over anxious. It was almost Buchanan scoring the knockdown. Duran is certainly trying to improve on his nine one-round knockouts here. He's throwing everything. <laughs> Round one is almost half over. Buchanan, who is adept at slipping punches, will have to watch himself. He's in with no cream puff. Duran has scored heavily in the last exchange. Duran's best punch is his right. But he's got a good left hook and only a fair jab. Buchanan has all the guns in the arsenal. About a minute to go in round one. It's scheduled for 15. Solid punches by Buchanan. Buchanan is a slow starter as a rule. Duran keeping the pressure on. And Duran is the aggressor. 10 seconds to go in round one. There's the corner of Roberto Duran and Ray Arcel, who has been come out of retirement because he's the friend of Carlos Aleta, the manager of Duran, is in there. He's facing him head on. And here's the opening uh, of the round. Now let's see. That probably was a knockout, a, a down, a grazing punch that caught Buchanan high on the head and did put him down. So we'll have to call that a knockdown, which probably will give round one to the challenger. It was a flash knockdown. He had to take the mandatory eight count. <laughs> round two of this 15 round bout. Duran keeping the pressure on the champion. And Buchanan is keeping him off with the jabs. Buchanan must hope to buy time and figure that perhaps Duran may punch himself out. In his last defense against Ismael Laguna, Buchanan started slowly but won the fight by winning the last rounds. Duran certainly a hard man to discourage. Got some of the moves of uh, Nino Benvenuti, he's rocking, rocking ben, uh, Buchanan in there, in Buchanan's corner.
Two minutes left in round two. It has been a dandy so far. Duran, besides his flashy right hand, has shown us a good left hook tonight. We know that Buchanan has all the punches. Buchanan starting to work on the body with a minute to go in round two. The heavier punches so far have been landed by Duran. A grazing right. Ten seconds to go in round two. <laughs> round three. Referees Johnny Lobianco, one of our fine officials here in New York. Duran in the dock of trunks. Hurting Buchanan again. Buchanan in the plaid trunks. Win or lose in this one, I have a feeling that Duran will be back. Remember again, Buchanan is known as a slow starter. They're both scoring with jabs. Duran keeps that pressure on, he's always moving in. The uppercut by Buchanan and the body punches by Duran. The right missed, the left hook was a grazing one. A minute to go in round three. So far it's been the challenger, Roberta Duran, piling up the points. And that good jab of Buchanan can't keep him off. A powerful left hook by the champion. Ten seconds to go in round three. Round four at Madison Square Garden, the lightweight championship of the world. Ken Buchanan, the champion, who's had a busy time defending himself. 
Roberto Duran, the challenger in the darker trunks. Duran from Panama, Buchanan from Edinburgh, Scotland. That's a powerful right hand punch Duran has and he's been scoring with it very often. And he's getting that left hook in there too. He absolutely gives Buchanan no rest. The question is can he keep up that pace he hasn't gone the 15 round route. He hasn't had to most of the time. Every so often Buchanan gets tagged with a wild right and they must hurt. He's taking the punches well, however. They both get wild. A minute to go in round four. Buchanan seems to be getting his boxing rhythm a little more now. Or perhaps the pace may be showing on Duran. It's been a torrid pace all the way. Ten seconds to go in round four. Don Dunphy at ringside, round five. Ken Buchanan, the lightweight champion, defending his crown in the plaid trunks against Roberto Duran of Panama City. Buchanan from Edinburgh, Scotland. Again, the inevitable rush by Duran. He's keeping that pressure on. All I can say, they'd better be in shape for the long haul. Oh, he really hurt him that time. A left and two tired rights, and he's still after him. Buchanan's in trouble. He's got a sturdy chin, but he needs it. Over in Buchanan's corner again. He was whipped with that right hand punch. I don't think Buchanan has ever been in this much trouble in his whole career. Johnny Lobianco getting him apart. Buchanan is cut under the eye. He was cut also in the Laguna fight, the last one. The left eye of Buchanan has a slight cut under it. Buchanan's mouthpiece goes out. More than a minute to go in the round. Buchanan fighting back in desperation. He's in real trouble. A minute to go in this round. All I can say about Buchanan is he can take it. 
He has. He's game two. This has been some round and some fight. Ten seconds to go in this round. Here's round six and Duran after Buchanan again. One third of the fight over and so far it's been all Duran. The story of the fight so far is that Duran, a great puncher against a great boxer, Buchanan, has not given the boxer a chance to get going. And the boxer must hurt that hope that Duran will run out of steam. You have to go back to Bo Jack and Bob Montgomery for a lightweight championship fight fought at this pace. And now Buchanan is starting to box better. He beats Duran to the punch, but Duran comes right back at him. A minute to go in round six. This has been a good round, but not nearly as tired as round five. Ten seconds to go in round six. <laughs> round seven at Madison Square Garden. Duran himself showing a pretty good left jab. Champion in the plaid trunks of his native Scotland. They landed simultaneously then.
They're in Duran's corner now. Buchanan, as usual, is back to the ropes. How many left jabs equal one solid right? That's the question. A minute to go in the round. Buchanan finding the jab, getting in there, and there's Duran right back at him. Buchanan is getting a chance to box better. But it's pretty hard to jab a man who's on top of you all the time. Johnny Lobianco getting them apart. Ten seconds to go in round seven. <laughs> round eight and Duran flew out of his corner. He's a confident young man, only 21 years old. Undefeated in 28 fights, 24 knockouts. And there's a swelling above the left eye of Buchanan. And now Buchanan is starting to trade with his man. He's got to do something. Both men in great condition. Duran is a fiery fighter, no question about it. He's starting to grimace with Buchanan. Buchanan has not had the firepower to keep him off. The round half over, round eight of a 15 rounder. One minute to go in this round, and Buchanan's face is showing the signs of the battering. Buchanan put on a neat exhibition, but that right hand nullified all of it. Ten seconds to go in round eight.
Don Dunphy at ringside, round nine. Again, Duran keeping the champion against the ropes, giving him no time to get set. That has been the story of the fight, and it's been a good fight. This is round nine, the round that Duran said he was going to knock out Buchanan. And he took one flush, a couple flush. I would say that Buchanan has one hope, and that is that Duran may have punched himself out before the end. No signs of it yet, though. Johnny Lobianco, the referee, has done a nice job in there. Buchanan looking a little better. Every time I say that, he runs into one. Half the round is over. Round nine of a 15-rounder. There you are. There's that right hand again. And in Buchanan's corner, nullifying the jabs. A minute to go in the round. Good counter punch by Buchanan. A rally by Buchanan. Ten seconds to go in the round. <laughs> round ten. And again, Duran on the march, but Buchanan scoring. It is a 15-round bout. Buchanan down for a flash knockdown in the first round. He bounced right up. Almost with the opening punch, he went down, bounced up, and took a mandatory eight count. No knockdown since. Buchanan had a slight cut under the left eye in the fifth round, but it has not bothered him or, or reopened. Buchanan making use of that educated left jab now. His trouble is in getting nailed with rights. Buchanan countering well as he backs away. Buchanan uh, has lost one fight in his career, and he tells it with wry humor. He says, when I win, I'm British, but when I lose, I'm Scotch. I wonder what he'll be after this fight. That jab is coming in on Duran pretty good now.
and the champion's putting more power into his punches. Less than a minute to go in round 10 of a 15 rounder. Duran starting to cut the right hand now. Telegraph it. Remember, Buchanan came from way behind in his fight against Laguna and won it in the last rounds. They're teeing off on each other. Ten seconds to go in the round. Buchanan has gobs of Vaseline under each eye now. They've been puffing a little bit. And Buchanan is starting to open faster. I hope you've enjoyed it at home. I know we have here. Buchanan in the plaid trunks. Duran the challenger in blue trunks with a red border. They're dark if you're watching in black and white. The last round or so, Buchanan is scoring in his old time boxing style. Some of his punch punches and moves are so fast you, you may miss them. He's blocking those body blows. <laughs> Numerically, Buchanan is outscoring Duran now. Duran's still a harder hitter. A little bit more than a minute to go in round 11 of a 15 rounder. A grazing punch to the right. That left hook was solid. Then a follow up right missed. Buchanan in trouble again. Last time he was in real trouble was the fifth round. Ten seconds to go in this round. <laughs> round 12. <laughs> and there's the fiery Panamanian Duran right on Buchanan again, having no respect for the champion. Duran almost as fresh as when he started.
Buchanan catching Mary Whatnot at the moment. A lot of people looked at Duran's record and said, who did he beat? Well, he's proved to be a good fighter. A tribute to the matchmaking ability of Madison Square Garden, Harry Markson and Teddy Brenner. A little bit more than a minute to go in round 12. Solid punches by Duran, but the game Buchanan, they come no gamer, is fighting back. He's in with a buzzsaw tonight. A minute to go in the round. Oh, he teed off that time on the champion. Need I say that Buchanan's in trouble? Ten seconds to go on the round. Duran talking to Buchanan now. The crowd has set up a mighty uproar. After that round, I'm sure you can hear it. They're standing up in their seats applauding uh, Rocky Duran. Here's a replay of the last round. Look at that right hand, flush on the jaw. And you can see how puffy the eyes of Ken Buchanan are. Buchanan holding on. He's tired, you can see that in the slow motion. The right missed, the left connected. Round 13, Duran trying for that knockout. And speaking about knockouts, I would guess that's what Buchanan would need to win this fight. I've got him behind. I think it would make a great rematch. Those jabs by Buchanan aren't quite getting in there. You've, you've got to give a, a tribute to the gameness and durability of Ken Buchanan as the referee tells Duran to keep his punches up. That's the only warning in the whole fight, however. There was a flash knockdown. Buchanan went down briefly in the first round. Half the round over. Buchanan tired, no question about it. A minute to go in the round.
The challenger has tremendous vitality and stamina. And now I think Buchanan's getting by on nerve alone. He's got two rough rounds ahead of him. No knockdown there. Ten seconds to go in the round. commission has gone in. Now Buchanan is getting up and going to his corner. He is in severe pain. I'm going to try to get the referee, Johnny Lobianco. There was a flurry of punches at the bell, and all of a sudden, Buchanan just caved in and went down. Gil Clancy is talking to the referee, Johnny Lobianco. Now let's see what's going to happen here. The referee may be stopping the fight, I don't know. The warning whistle has sounded for round 14. It's a question of whether or not Buchanan will come out. The fight has been stopped. The fight has been stopped, and the winner, and new lightweight champion of the world, 21-year-old Roberto Duran of Panama. There's pandemonium in the ring as people are trying to get in there. The police are trying to keep them out. There's a the mob scene. Hey, Joe! Hey, Johnny! Johnny Lopianco! Johnny! Get Johnny. Oh. I'm trying to get the referee over here. I'm going to talk to Johnny Lobianco. Johnny, tell us what happened there at the end. He apparently, Lobianco. He apparently got hit just after the bell rang. I didn't think it should be counted. He was unable. To, was he hit? Was he hit low? He seemed. He seemed to get hit in the lower part of his abdomen. Wasn't a low blow. I don't think it was impossible. The to be hurt by a low blow without foul, All right, yeah. without tail or cover. Well, tell me, tell me, did you stop the fight? Yes, when he, I saw the condition that he was in, it was very, very obvious that he was in no condition to continue. Well, you're going to stop the fight anyway, even if he didn't go down. No, you were, you were not until I saw the results of the knockdown. I see. All right, thank you, John. Buchanan's back to the ropes, and the referee in the way. Apparently, he's been hit already. It looked like a left hook to me. Here's the announcement by the Joe Bostic. Official decision. The bout terminated at the end of the 13th round. Referee Johnny Bianco rules that Buchanan is unable to finish. Therefore, the new lightweight champion of the world is Roberto 